All right, take a look at this. This is this is something. This is called Atwood's machine. Only this is Atwood's machine without a frictionless pulley. Right? You know, this is. Uh, I mean, the, the the bearing is frictionless, but this pulley has to accelerate rotationally. Right? So we've got three inertias here. M two has got to accelerate up. M two is going to accelerate down because it's bigger. Right? M two is fifteen kilograms. Right? But this guy also has to accelerate angularly. Right? Um, and so this is just a mess. So I'm going to call this tension here T3 because it goes along with the mass that. And I'm going to call this tension here T2, right? And if we do this sort of the base sort of rotational equation here, we've got a clockwise torque causing the acceleration, right? So whatever that radius is, right, times T2 is causing clockwise torque, right? This guy is causing anti-clockwise torque. It's trying to torque it to the left. Only that torque will be less because there's less mass there, right? So I'm going to say R, R times T2. This is torque, right? I'm using the formula torque is RF. Right? So R times T2 minus R times T3 because presumably T3 is less than T2, right? Okay, that's going to equal uh, I alpha, right? So that equals, um, and we're assuming it's a cylinder, right? So I'm going to use I as one half mr squared. Okay, pretty sure this will make you want to use energy, but let's let's go for it. Let's do dynamics here, right? Okay, so that equals one half m one r squared, right? Times uh, a over r. So that the other the other substitution, if uh, a is alpha r, then alpha is a over r, right? Right now, I can we can clean this equation up a little bit, right? That r cancels that one, and then I can divide every term by r, right? R, 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 and we end up with uh, t two minus t three equals one half m one a. Okay. Well, now we've got a, a formula with three unknowns, right? One, two, three. We could do matrices. I'm just going to substitute to get rid of these things, right? So now let's set up our other equations. Um, let's look at this mass just because it's on the left, right? We know that T3 is causing the acceleration and the weight of this guy is preventing it, right? So I'm going to say T3 minus M3G, right? So the force up minus the force down equals M3A, right? So therefore, T3 is equal to M3A plus M3G. We're going to substitute that, right? Okay, and then I'm going to set up an equation for this, right? Now, the force causing the acceleration is M2G. So M2G, the force preventing it is uh, MT2, right? Equals M2A. So from this, we get that um, T2 is equal to, uh, what is this? Uh, it's going to be M2G minus M2A. Yeah, yeah? So, so this makes sense, right? It's the weight minus the MA because it's accelerating down. Here it's the weight plus MA because this guy's accelerating up. That, that always happens, right? Okay. Now we're going to substitute these guys into here and get an expression that has only A's and G's and M's in it, right? Okay, so let's write this expression again, right? So T2 minus T3 equals one half M1A. Now T2 is uh, this guy, right? So we've got uh, M2G minus M2A. That's this guy, right? And then minus, and then here's T3, right? M3A plus M3G, and that's this guy, right? Equals one half M1A. Wow, look at that substitution, right? And then we have to distribute the minus sign here, right? So the next next line is M2G, <laughs> M2G minus M2A, minus M3A, minus M3G, equals one-half M1A. Let's put all the A's on this side. Notice that these A's are negative here. 
So I'm going to get on this side M2G minus M3G. Right? Uh, it's shaping up here, right? That equals 1 half M1A plus M2A plus M3A. So all that shuffle was is I put these two terms on the other side. Now, of course, I can factor out an A, right? So, so M2G minus M3G is A outside of 1 half M1 plus M2 plus starting to shape up, right? And then we get acceleration is equal to uh, M2G minus M3G all over 1 half M1 plus M2 plus M3, which this makes sense, right? This is the protagonist. This is the, the weight of this guy is causing the acceleration. The weight of this guy is preventing it, right? All divided by the, the inertias. Now, these are just accelerating linearly, so we have to use all of their inertia. The pulley is rotating, uh, accelerating rotationally, and remember that, that it's tricky, right? Some of it has the same linear acceleration as the masses. Some of it has almost none, right? On average, it's half, right? So that's why it's half of that one, right? Now, obviously, we can plug numbers into this, okay? So I'm going to plug in numbers. So I'm going to go M2 is uh, 15. So I'm going to go parentheses 15 times 9.81 minus 12 times 9.81, end parentheses, so I did the numerator in parentheses, divided by parentheses, 0.5 M1, M1 is 55, right? The so 0.5 times 55, right? Uh, plus uh, plus uh, 15, plus 12, end parentheses for the denominator. And I get exactly, somewhat strangely, right? 0.54 meters per second squared, right? And then if it if it fell a whole meter, I could get the, the final velocity, right? Um, and that's going to be the square root of, of uh, 2gh, right? Or no, no, sorry, not, not g. It's going to be uh, v squared is u squared plus 2as, right? Okay, so uh, v will be the square root of 2as, right? And s is one meter. So I'll go square root of uh, 2 times the number I just got, the 0.54, right? times 1, and I get 1.039, okay? Now remember this expression, remember this expression, because in the next video, I'm going to show you how to get that same expression using energy, okay? This was, this was tough, right? We had to figure out, okay, torque to the right minus torque to the left is I, right? Then we had to set up an expression for this guy, we had to set up an expression for that guy, we had to substitute it in, the rest of this is just math, right? Okay, but I think conceptually this stuff is hard. I'm gonna put an exclamation point, right? Like, whoa, that's pretty tough stuff, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to do this in, in a way that maybe the math isn't easier, but certainly the concepts are easier, okay? That's the next video.